Hello, in this video we're going to show you our newest online resource, Creative Bug. Creative Bug is a collection of videos that will give you step-by-step -step instruction in all kinds of creative projects. To get started on our website, I'll scroll down to our subject guide to electronic resources. And for us, Creative Bug lives in the guide for home and garden. The first time you're coming into Creative Bug, you'll use this form to create an account. And since I already have one, I'm going to use this login now link and enter my own real credentials. So I'm going to pause the video just a moment to do that. So now we're logged into Creative Bug. I'm going to click here on See Latest. And here you have the option to browse into the different categories. You can also search for a particular topic if you have something in mind. And up here under the menu, I'll click on Classes and we'll head into Jewelry for Beginners. So now you can start to see some of the courses that are in this category. I'm going to make the print a little bigger here. So here you can see in the upper left it tells you how long the course is, who the artist is, the number of stars this course has received, and the number of people who've actually watched it. If I click into this, I'm going to make that a little smaller again. If I scroll down, I'll see different controls here. So I have the opportunity to read more about this course here in description. I can also click here on materials and see, importantly, the things I'll need to do this project. And if this is something that I decide is of interest, I can add it to my watch list. And where that will live is up here under this menu, my watch list. So that's just an easy way to come back to anything that's of interest. I can actually share my watch list with a friend, for example, um, here by email. But importantly, uh, you need to know that the person on the receiving end does need their own Creative Bug account. I'm going to click off a lot. And I'll click here on watercolor lettering. Another thing I'll note is that if I watch this video and I decide that I really like this artist, I can click on her name and that will bring me to all of the courses, uh, as well as a little more information about her, but it will also give me all of the courses that she has done. In this case, she's done two. And then last but not least, I'll just point out under here under classes, there is a kids section, and this will give you an opportunity to come in and look for projects that might be appropriate to do with kids. Uh, so for example, you can do Galaxy Slime or something a little more involved, um, such as intuitive mark making, just as a for example. So that is what we wanted to tell you about Creative Bug. We hope you enjoy this resource, and as always, if you have questions or comments, please send them to Belmont Public Library at gmail.com. And thanks for watching.